summer break is well and truly over and the International GT Open has reconvened at a cold, breezy and damp spa franc on champ However, the championship fight is extremely close between Miguel Ramos and Alvaro Prent, Kelly Ruglo passing the Thoras and Rafael Giamaria and Ezekiel perez Compnac. We should be in for a couple of great races this weekend. Let's take a look at the action. destination for the drives of the International GT Open. It was a new car for this weekend. The second chair, Martin Motorsport, McLaren, Rob Bell and Andrew Watson, which led into La Source for the first time. Rob Bell stretching his legs. Also, a very impressive newcomer was Ewan Hankey in the TF Sport Aston Martin. And wheel to wheel, Raffaele Giamaria. For, of course, Ferrari, Rafael Unzarazaga in a slightly less enjoyable race spin into the gravel. The Aston Martin Brussels car, another fine entry. Michael Schmecht and Tim Verbeck flying through the course of the weekend. Immediately after the pit stops, the rain came down. Andrew Watson was the first driver to arrive on the scene. And Eau Rouge, the car spinning into the barriers. Sally Ulick, another driver, who was caught out in rapidly deteriorating conditions. Through the murk, passing the Thoras was utterly impressive in the air of course Ferrari as he was able to carve through the field Alvaro Prent doing likewise although nursing some minor issues with the turn Martin Motorsport McLaren Mr Martin Brussels car the Betten Schmidt also showing strongly Ezekiel Perez come back and Rafael Giamaria was the opportunity to net points whereas in the championship fight another win for Lothoras and Rugolo to bring them right back into contention with Perez and Ramos in second, Schmidt and Verbeck completing the podium. Thumbs up from a delighted passing the Thoris who mastered incredibly difficult conditions to score yet another victory in 2015. <laughs> Team. Uh, we did a really superb job with the, the tires for the second set that we changed to the rain. Um, the team was always uh, also in the previous races at Spa 24, the pit stops of the Air Force team is just superb. Everybody's just running like clockwork. And uh, uh, yes, well, thank you to Michele for um, starting, keeping the car safe at the start. And he, he helped this weekend set up the car really, really well. The car was really easy to drive. Yeah, it's uh, the same story every time. I mean, with the handicap game, uh, we 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 finish first in first position of the first race, and then uh, I hope we are able to keep the same spot uh, even uh, after tomorrow night. Let's see. But was a was a very so far is a very good good week, and uh, the, as he said, the setup of the car is fantastic. In dry condition, was special, and uh, even in wet, apparently, he did a great job. Uh, a lot of suspense every time he's in the car. I'm really scared because I. He has very good drivers behind him, but he's able to do a great, great performance, keeping them behind. So, very nice. Weather much improved for race two on Sunday. This is a golden opportunity for Varro Prem to make good of a front row start. It's Prem who led through La Source for the first time and then set off about building big a lead as he possibly could. So the Ferrari struggled in the early stages on a still slightly greasy circuit. Rafael Giamaria, that meant that he had got Andrew Watson swarming all over his tail. Watson able to sneak past in second to Martin and Sport McLaren's. Soon though Watson was under pressure from the, the Aston Martin Brussels entry of Verbeck and Schmecht. Two Belgian drivers showing local knowledge to fine effect in the Thoris, it was a slightly more frustrating day, but he was able to slip past the NRT Lamborghini after that huge lock-up. Late on, Sandro Balzan was absolutely flying in the Vlorba course Ferrari, scything through the field, including picking his way past James Abbott, having an excellent weekend in the radical RFC. This, one of the talking points of the race, as Ramos defended the lead late on, there was contact between Rob Bell, Ezekiel perez Companac, and around went the Ferrari. 
uh, was then busy defending from a resurgent Aston Martin. It was the second victory of the season for Miguel Ramos and Alvaro Frent and one that moved them to the top of the championship table. Second on the road to Bell and Watson and then for Vecton Schmidt completing the podium. So with just four races remaining, the title fight is very, very nicely poised. But next stop, Monza, is Ferrari territory. Really a perfect weekend yesterday, second, today first. What can I say with the issues we had yesterday with the, with the um, electronics? Uh, we had a small issue and the car wasn't as fast as we expected at the end of the Miguel stint and then throughout my my stint the rain helped us a bit so we managed second place and today you know uh, we had a big handicap but uh, I managed to, to attack uh, very hard on these tricky conditions you know not wet not dry uh, managed a, a good gap and now suffering until the end with Miguel uh, almost gave me a, you know uh, my heart uh, pounding a lot but very happy for, for this result and it was perfect for us and uh, for McLaren, thank you, McLaren GT, Del Martin and Miguel, very happy for, for This is very important for us to have this result uh, because in Monza is not the best for our car and so we in Monza will have time because it will be hard and we will lose handicap and then the, I think the decision of the championship will be in Barcelona. But this is a good step because we knew that uh, in Monza will not be competitive as the other competitors. So it will be okay, so the strategy in Monza will take some handicaps, well, something can happen anyway, but to go to Barcelona to try to win the championship.